Hello everyone, I'm Brian Fagan and today we're delving into a crucial topic that affects many parents navigating divorce and visitation issues. If you find this information valuable, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more legal insights, and share your thoughts and comments below. Now let's get started. When it comes to visitation orders, there are certain tricks that can make them unenforceable, leaving parents in a frustrating and challenging situation. Today, we'll shed light on a couple of the worst tricks I've seen, emphasizing the importance of having an attorney who specializes in family law. These tricks can often prey on those without legal representation, making it essential to be informed. Let's jump into real life scenarios to understand these deceptive tactics. In our first example, a military man going through divorce believed he had secured standard visitation rights. However, hidden in the order was language that made it contingent on the ex-wife's agreement. The clever manipulation left him with no visitation rights unless the wife consented. A standard provision should have allowed possession at a mutually agreeable time or as specified in the possession order. Unfortunately, he had to spend significant time and money modifying the decree to rectify the deception. In another case, a father found himself denied access to his child despite having a visitation order. The problem? His order lacked the crucial section known as the General Terms and Conditions. This section usually outlines the pickup and drop-off locations, the parent responsible for releasing the child, and the other essential details. Without it, the court had no clear basis for enforcing the order. He had to seek a modification to rectify the critical omission. Our third example involves a mother who had full custody but faced challenges when the father refused to return her children. Her order lacked specific language stating her superior right to the child or the father's obligation to return them. This left her with a visitation order relying on solely and mutual agreement. Her remedy, like the others, was to modify the order to include the necessary enforcement mechanisms. These deceptive tactics highlight the importance of having an attorney well versed in family law. An experienced family law attorney recognizes these tricks and ensures your final order includes the necessary language to make it enforceable. If you are asking yourself, do I need an attorney? The answer often is a resounding yes. Well, let me share some tips on combating these tricks and ensuring your visitation order is robust and enforceable. Having an attorney who specializes in family law can make all the difference. They are adept in recognizing these tricks and ensuring your order is comprehensive and enforceable. Make sure your visitation order includes a general terms and conditions section, clearly outlining the essential details such as pickup locations, drop-off locations, and the parent responsible for custody transitions. Regularly review your visitation order to ensure it aligns with your understanding. If you have any discrepancies, consult with an attorney promptly to address potential issues. In conclusion, understanding the potential pitfalls and visitation orders is crucial for every parent. If you found this information helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe for more legal insights, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember that legal representation is your key to navigating these tricky situations successfully. Thank you for joining me today, and until next time, take care. Thanks so much for watching our video. We hope you found it helpful and enjoyable. If you liked what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. Got any questions or thoughts? Drop a comment below. And if you know someone who could benefit from this video, don't hesitate to share it with them. For more awesome resources, check out the description below. Take care, we'll see you in the next video.